Good morning, everybody. It's Miss Betty, and I am getting ready to cook on Farm Ridge. And today, what I am going to make is collard greens mixed with cabbage greens. And they're both already prepped, washed, and ready to go because I do have videos on my YouTube channel that you can go and see how we prepped our greens. Of course, you want to shred them off the back. You want to cut them up, wash them until they are extremely clean and ready for the pot. What I am going to do is I am going to season my greens. As always, using my Lari seasoning, my black pepper, my green seasoning, and some crushed red pepper, as well as some homemade pepper that I make. If you've watched me do this video before, you know that I basically season all of my food the same, and that way it always tastes the same and it never disappoints. If I leave one step off, my family members will say, Mom, there's something wrong with your food. So make sure that you season it the same all the time. I'm also going to add just a little bit of kosher salt. I always use a fourth of a cup of canola oil because canola oil is better for you than the vegetable oil. Another one of my secrets is that I do use... Um, some chicken bouillon cubes in the package. So just add one pack to that. I already have my meat in my pot cooking. I'll show you. I have some smoked turkey wings and I am going to get these greens started and be sure when you do collards and cabbage that you cook your collards first because those leaves are a little bit more coarser. So they will take longer to cook. Then what I do is the last 10 minutes or 15 minutes, I add my cabbage greens. I have them both washed, clean, and drained, free from the excess water. And uh, this is going to be good. I always make you some hot water cornbread because it'll make those greens taste so good. If you have any questions, um, please go to my comment sections and ask me. Remember on today to be encouraged. Replace negative with positive. And remember, you are blessed. So you be a blessing to somebody else as you come and as you go. Bye-bye. I'll see you in a minute. All right, as you can see, I have my turkey. It has already pre-cooked. It's ready for me to add my greens. I only have two bunches of collards today because I am going to mix them with cabbage. But I am not going to add my cabbage at this time. I'm just going to go ahead and add my collard greens. They won't take very long to cook because I only have the two bunches. I only chose to do two bunches today because, of course, we are going to add cabbage to our greens, and that is going to increase um, our pot. So just go ahead and grab you a couple of bunches at the grocery store. And... Um, I am cooking these in my Dutch oven, and this is enough greens that will probably feed a family of four to five, or four to six, you know, why would I stop at five, that's such an odd number, from four to six, okay? You've watched me do greens before, so you already know how simple it is. Once I get these greens going, then I will add um, my cabbage. My meat is already done. So let's sprinkle in a little seasoning salt. I'm not gonna measure, I'm just going to sprinkle. All right, my pepper, sprinkle, 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 and sprinkle. I have my crushed peppers. I did remember to open them today. So we'll put just a few in there because you want it to have a little kick. I also have my green seasoning that I do purchase uh, at the store. This is excellent for cooking greens, you guys. So if you have not bought this yet, go and get you one. They're with the um, Spray Supreme section. Uh, at most stores, they only cost a dollar or maybe a dollar forty-nine, but you would want to add these to your greens, really. Okay, so we just put some of that in. It's basically 
like a seasoning salt. And to that, I'm going to add just a little bit of my kosher salt. Okay, Betty, that seems like a lot of salt. No, it's not, because it takes a lot of seasonings to make your greens taste good. Okay, we're going to bring these to a boil. This is my one-fourth cup of canola oil. The oil aids in cooking your greens, okay? So let's get these greens done. And then when I come back, we'll add the cabbage and you'll see what a wonderful pot of greens that we would have. I don't know. Are we going to eat them today? Are we going to eat them tomorrow? Or am I going to sell them? I don't know. I'll see you in a bit. All right, as you can see, my greens... The collard part are fully cooked. I took the meat off of the turkey bone because why should we leave the bone? And I stripped it and now I am going to add the cabbage. The cabbage won't take long. And um, these are gonna be so good, you guys. Adding a few at a time. No need to add any more seasoning because all of my seasonings are already in my greens so literally all I want to do is just add my cabbage and that is why we add our cabbage last lastly you don't want to add more greens than cabbage or more cabbage than greens because these are called cabbage greens okay all right I do have a full boil because I've started to add it kind of went down a little bit let's just bring them back to a boil Put the lid on them, turn them off, and then they'll be done. That's how easy it is. I did use two full bunches of um, collard greens, and I used a small to medium cabbage. Okay, so these are going to be so, so good. You'd be surprised. If you say, I don't like cabbage, well, you will like these because they're going to taste like collard greens. If you say, I don't like collards, you will still be surprised because they will taste like cabbage and collard greens. <laughs> it's not funny to say that, but man, you are going to love these. Let's bring them to a quick boil. We'll turn them off, and they'll be ready. But I am going to mix them thoroughly because I want to make sure that we see both greens, okay? Yeah. Just keep bringing them from the bottom to the top as such. From the bottom to the top. From the bottom to the top. If you like, and you think you want to add some more black pepper, you can. You can taste them and see if you need any more seasoning. But I am a cook that never tastes my food. I simply know that I have added enough because I am a high cook. That sounds funny to some people, but a lot of us was raised by just knowing how much to put in our food. And thus, we became that I cook. Okay? Let's see. When I bring this to a boil, I'll come back and I'll show you the finished product. All right, everybody, this is Miss Betty, and this is our finished product. Don't they look wonderful? Or as my word is, aren't they pretty? <laughs> they are so pretty, and I know that you will like these. I am going to take a better picture, my close-up, that you see how wonderful they look. And that's going to be it for today. This is Miss Betty, and I have been cooking on Farm Ridge. You make it a great day. Remember, it's better to replace negative with positive. Bye-bye.